Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Dodgers almost melting down here. Trevor Bauer went six innings, six no-hit innings, and then proceeded to, he gave up a home run. David Price gave up a few more home runs. No, Price gave up two, Bauer gave up two, and now it's 10-6 Dodgers after they were cruising 10 nothing. Crazy. Coors Field, that's what can happen. Pick your team eight is what's happening right now. We can see some crazy things in here too. Big thanks, everybody, for picking their team straight. No fillers or anything. I don't think we have to do a single filler for all these definitive breaks, all nine that we're doing. We're doing eight right now, the ninth one coming up in a separate video after this. But we haven't done a single filler, so I appreciate everybody just digging deep and just buying teams straight up. I appreciate it. Let's select a die. Let's select, select that one. And we'll go one, two, three for box A, four, five, six for box B. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Box B will be for break eight. Box A will be for break nine, our last break of the night. All right, big thanks everybody here for getting in on it. Yeah, it's kind of odd. I think we saw like, I feel like I saw one didn't we see like a Whit Merrifield? But that I feel like that was ages ago. Or maybe that was some maybe I'm thinking of something else. Alright. Which way are these cards gonna go? Okay, I think this is the right way. All right. Well, good luck here in Pick Your Team 8, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for getting in on the action. I appreciate it. First one out of the gate is Robin Yount. Two-time AL MVP, 3,142 career hits. And, and excellent penmanship here. That's for Rory and his brewers. Rory and a train whistle. Look at that. The world famous. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go. Nice way to start things off here in break number eight. Next one, we have we have me grabbing two cards. Let's grab an, one card here. There's Luis Garcia, rookie auto for Kobe Chan and the Nats. Fourteen out of fifty on that one. Then we have Roger Clemens, defining season, 1986. Nine out of 10 on that auto. That goes to Josh Proust and the Red Sox. There you go, 19, yeah, first train whistle in a while, Rory. That's pretty nice. Let's remind you of uh, Roger Clemens' defining season in 1986. That was that was his first full season, I think. Yeah, 1986. He had he went 24 and four in his first full season. He had 33 starts, 24 and four, a 2.48 ERA. 10 complete games, one shutout, 250 innings, had 238 strikeouts, and was this was his third year in, was an all-star, was a Cy Young Award winner, and won the MVP. That's pretty amazing. Cy Young, well, in MVP voting, he beat out the likes of Don Mattingly, who hit... 352 and hit 30 home runs that year, beating out Jim Rice, Roger Clemens' teammate, who hit 324 and, and 20 home runs, 110 RBIs. For the Cy Young Award, he beat out Teddy Higura. Teddy Higura didn't have a chance. He only won 20 games with a 279 ERA and only 207 strikeouts. It's a pretty nice season for Teddy Higura, though. Anyway, that was the defining year, Josh Proust. All right, and we've got 
A duo of Yankees, Andy Pettit and CC Sabathia. Nice. Eight out of 18. That'll be Chris and the Yankees. That's not bad. Two great Yankee pitchers right here. All right, next one is Patrick Corbin, 15 out of 25. That is for Kobe Chan and the Nationals. Next one here is the Eck, Dennis Eckersley. Piece of his lumber, seven out of 50. How often do you think Dennis Eckersley has swung a bat? Wait, he was with the Cardinals. Yeah, I was going to say he was with the Cardinals for a couple of seasons. Did he have a... Uh... Yeah, he's hit a little bit. Actually, in his, in his uh, Cubs years... If you're wondering, Dennis Eckersley has a lifetime 133 batting average. He has three home runs and 12 RBIs. Hmm, 24 hits and three doubles. And about 181 at-bats. There you go. So a piece of his lumber right there. Maybe he hit one of his home runs with that piece of lumber. That goes to the A, Steve Locke. couple more to go. We've got... Josh, 8 out of 50 with the hologram sticker right there so you know exactly where that came from. That's JC715143. Pirates, that'll be for Greg. Remember, we're using bigger top loaders and we're blue taping these right here, right, with blue painter's tape. Just be careful if you're taking the tape off or if for whatever reason there's no tape. Just be careful with those top loader, top loader shortage. Um, Josh Bell for the Pirates. That goes to Greg. You can look up those letters and numbers on MLB.com slash authentication. See exactly the date. You can look at the game log. And the last one here is Aaron Nola. Two out of 15. Another situation where you can go to MLB.com slash authentication and see if he actually made a start on that particular day they got this jersey. That's uh, VS86363. So give that a look, Brian and the Phillies. There you have it. Another nice definitive collection break in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, the last box coming up in a separate video. I'll see you for that one next time. Bye-bye.